poop, poop. Hello, it's Sunday morning and we are in the car. We're off to the motorhome and campervan show in Exeter. This is part two of a two-parter. Check out part one in the links below. Are you looking forward to it? I am, yeah. See you when we get there. I'm Malish and I love travelling in our van. You have to go left a bit. Hi, I'm Zoe and I'm severely sight and bad, but I still love going out in Melvin the Motor. What are you doing? Hi, I'm Tifa and I love Pickle. <laughs> Hello, I'm Melvin the Motorhome. And together we want to travel the world. And we hope you join us on our adventures. Where are we? <laughs> are we at the Motorhome and Camper Van Show? We have arrived. We saw and reviewed so many vehicles at the show that we split this video into two parts. We're going to show you a mixture of camper vans and motorhomes, different ages, price ranges and layouts, so you can get an idea of what's out there to buy in the world of van life at the moment. It's not as busy as I thought it would be. It's nice. Yeah. It's quite relaxed, isn't it? It's the West Country, isn't it? It's always chilled out here. Here's what's coming up now in part one. Oh, it's also travels. Really? Big wardrobe. Whoops. Oh, well, it's just all nice and with that. Yeah. I do like the drain, you guys. <laughs> Sorry. I don't think I could go to the toilet on that toilet. <laughs> it would be so weird. So look at this roller team. Oh, wow. It's on a 27991. Roller team 2009, it is. Yeah, let's have a look inside. That's a very, very similar layout to Alamo Home Melvin, actually. We've got double electric step. Oh, they've got like a laminate floor. Lots of storage here. Ah, it's a, exactly the same layout as Melvin Motorhome. So you've got your kitchen at the back. That's a lovely sink with a draining board on it. I do like a draining board. <laughs> a huge rear window there. Loads of storage. Mm -hmm. A tiny little grill though, not a full oven. Yes. Three oh, gas burners. Work top, just like ours. Oh, that's nice, the slide out cupboard. Fridge. They're not the best quality though, the cupboards. Bathroom, very similar to Melv as well. Huge, big shower. Well, oh, this is a very nice shower curtain though. I don't like a shower curtain. Bedford cassette. Plenty of room in there. And we've got a big wardrobe. Oops, loads of space in here. For more info about all the vans we looked at, visit bonjourmotorhome.com. Another captain's chairs. They don't look to be swivelling chairs. But of course, the big difference is there's no over cab bed like Melv. A very small skylight just there. It does feel very spacious though, to be fair. And that's on a what, 27999? Yeah, and it's on a 2009? Yeah, yeah, so that's a, that's a good value, I think. I mean, Roller Team don't seem to have the best build quality, I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Oh, it's auto trails. Really? Yeah. It's got an electric step. Oh, it's nice and tall inside. It's got the swiveling captain's chairs, the big wardrobe. Yeah. Over cab storage. Yes, oh gosh, the sink is pretty decent size actually. Yeah, it's really it good. It goes in front of the sliding door. Yeah, you've got a pull out stanchion for the worktop there on the end. Okay. There's a drawer space. Yeah. You've got an oven grill, three ring hob, microwave. And what's the bathroom like? Look in here. Oh, it's all in one, but it's that's a decent size, that foot shower. So it's roomy in there. And then this would be your bed. Two parallel sofas. Do you like it, Pickle? What do you think? Oh, look at the cupboards. How is it lovely? Handleless cupboard doors. Oh, very stylish, isn't it? And a window. Yeah. Wow. And could you just step straight out the back? Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Right, what's next? Here we've got, um, oh, it's an Eldis. Oh. Just 
2016 model storage locker at the back. There's no electric step here, it's got a couple of little steps up built into it though. Got parallel benches in the same way that Mel's got, so I presume that is your main bed. Got swiveling captain's chairs, tall lockers. Oh, they've got bars inside to stop stuff falling out, which is a good idea. They feel okay. They don't feel too flimsy. No. Got a huge kitchen though. That's it. And a microwave. Oh, I do like the kitchen. Yeah, I like the way the microwave is flush. I like the worktop surface, it's a bit sparkly. <laughs> it's a big worktop and you've got three gas rings and an electric hot plate. Quite a nice big sink. Oh yeah, it's a really big sink. Like a draining board that clips on, that's really nice. I like the fact it's got a skylight at the front above the cab. Yeah, a lot of them have that, but then you don't have the over cab bed. Oh, of course. Sacrifices that. And then there is an oven. Bedford proper duplex oven, so it's grill and oven combi. That's a very nice size oven. Loads of storage there. I like the new cupboard lock with the little handles. Melv doesn't have problem with this. Never fly open. No. Gosh, that's a good size fridge. Uh, yeah, the bathroom is, is quite wide because it's almost full width except you've got the garage at the back but the only thing separating the shower off is that curtain which I really don't like, shower curtains. It's only got a very small skylight, there's like a garage in the corner. There's a huge cupboard and loads of hanging space. Oh and there's your stowaway table in there. I was impressed with that. Yeah. What was that? A majestic, eldest majestic. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh dear. Yours is much better behaved. <laughs> <laughs> so what have we got here? Ah, oh, this has got lots of accoutrement. This is conversion from one of VWs. That's a really nice work. Feels like real granite, it does, doesn't, doesn't it? it? It's wonderful. Very thin, so I guess it's lightweight. Wow, so you've got pop top roof, you can stand up. Oh, the pickles come to have a look. What do you think, pickle? Got a built in Bedford cassette toilet that flips down. But you don't get a lot of privacy to <laughs> go to the toilet. Don't forget to visit bonjourmotorhome.com for more about all the vans we saw. Oh, wow, that, that looks like an induction plate. Actually, it was a diesel powered electric hob. Loads of storage space. Got four belted seats. Swiveling captain's chair. This is brilliant. Stowaway table. Nice one. If I was going to have a small pop top fan, yeah. Have something like that. So, how big was it in comparison to Mel? Oh, tiny. It's tiny. But it's got. Everything, but I don't think I could go to the toilet on that toilet. <laughs> it would be so weird. There's a show saw. Can we have a look at that? Yeah. And it's 2019. The door is on this side, the habitation door. North door is on the wrong side. <laughs> so we've got a, the built in step here. It's not an electric, the step is just sort of built in. Okay. Stand up into it. It's got dining area at the front. The kitchen behind the dining area with its rearing hob again. Yes. And a tiny little round little combi oven, set for duplex. Uh, there was a big fridge with a separate freezer. Yes. That's good. You know, it's got the same cupboard doors. That's that auto trail. Has it got a drop down bed? Is it? It's right above your head now. Really? Is that a bed? Um, yeah. <gasps> it has. You're right. It must be electric and the cupboards come down with it. Wow. That would be something I would like oh, one day. Look at the size of it as well. And then what's back here? Oh, gosh, another an iron bed. Blimey. So this is for four people or two couples. If you want to go away with another couple in your motorhome. Big shower in the middle. There's a separate washroom behind this door. Coming up in part two.
you don't get much, do you, really, for your 60 grand? It's my sort of ideal layout, I think. Yeah, I like that. You could leave the bed made up, couldn't you? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's the biggest bathroom I've ever seen in a motorhome. That is full width. Thanks for watching, and if you like our unique style of video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us out, and we'll see you in the next video. Au revoir! Au revoir! Au revoir! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh.